Hi, it's Lisa Vemini here. Today is a tutorial all about offsetting an animation cycle in Blender. You can see it used in the following sequence. Lost inside, no one could hear me. Darkest nights, for walls contain me. Why, oh why, oh why can't I leave this shell between heaven and heaven? Now I will do a bonus video on the scene setup and such, but for now let's just start with the character and his walk cycle. Uh, I got the character from BlendSwap and Enthymeme. Uh, made this character, it's it's amazing. Um, it's, it's low poly, um, but really efficient, and the texturing just absolutely sells it. Check out his channel as well, it's got a couple of other characters to look at. And this character was fairly easy to attach some animation to. Um, now in this case, it's uh, motion capture brought in onto the skeleton, but in a recent freelance project, I had a bunch of uh, four-legged animal creatures hopping along and they all had control rigs and this exact same technique worked fabulously for it. But mind you, all we have right now is just a walk cycle in one action and his feet are offset, he's moving forward in space in the pose space of the armature as the animation plays. And what we want to do is continue his walk onward while keeping the footsteps uh, going forward without any slippage. Since we're going to be using the NLA for most of this technique, our first step is just to get our walk cycle into the NLA as a strip. So I've got the NLA window open at the bottom of the screen and I'm just gonna click this double arrow uh, icon and that will now take our walk cycle action and place it in the NLA. Even though we're not offsetting yet, we'll just come in and change some properties. First, I'm gonna turn off the auto blend in and out. It just stops it from trying to blend in and out with other strips. And then we're gonna change the repeat factor. And we can start off with 20, it's fairly arbitrary. But what we can see now is we've got a couple of loops in our frame range. I'll just come in and extend that higher. Let's just go with 300 so you can see the full effect of the strip. Right now it's just simply repeating the same walk cycle in the same position and our next action that we create will counter this and actually offset the start and end of the loop. The key factor to this effect really working is by a root bone which is the parent of all the others and if I just come into the skeleton and uh, unhide that bone, we'll be able to use it in our new action and show off this technique. This next action that we create will only have the keys of this root bone and to make Blender create a new action, I'll just hit the I key to add a key. In the NLA it shows that our action has been created but it's not actually an NLA strip yet. I'm just going to rename the action to offset. So now here comes the real trick. As we key through the walk cycle, and we reach the end and you can see the small vertical line on the walk cycle strip shows us where that cycle point is. We're going to take this bone and match it up exactly with the last frame of the cycle. Now you can just do this visually and it will work just fine. I've dragged the character along the Y axis with the root bone until it's very close to where the looping was happening, where the character character's last footstep was. I'll then select the XYZ location in the graph editor and just hit the V key to isolate those three curves. And then I'll hit the T key uh, to bring up the interpolation type and switch to constant. So that way the moving of the root bone will only happen at the exact point at which the, the character initially snapped back to the same position. So from there I just ended up readjusting the placement of the second key so that it just matches up with the frame before it. And what you have suddenly is this awesome offset of the walk cycle. Now it only does it once and we could manually duplicate the key and the offset, but a much easier way is to just come into the uh, curve modifiers with the Z curve selected 
uh, choose cycle and then underneath the before and after just uh, choose the repeat with offset function we'll then add that to the NLA like with uh, the previous strip and then all we need to do is extend the end frame of the uh, action extents and we can really push that as far as you'd like just as you know it can match up to the walk cycle repeating and the offset with the uh, exponential cycling and the repeated walk cycle itself together just creates a perfect offset and the character will continue to walk so that's the real basis of uh, this type of technique from here the third and final NLA strip action that we can add in is just any other layering on top so just as a test here um, I can set a key on his upper arm and that will create a new layer which I'll rename to test layer and I can go forward in time a bit just lift his arm up and as you can see working with the two previous strips his arm will now uh, rise and work with the previous animations fairly well so you know it's a quick animation here but he could be giving a wave or uh, doing a, a point or something in the case of this little sequence that you saw at the start of the video um, I had it here previously as an action from when I made it it's called head look and just quickly you can see I need to turn off auto blend in and out for the offset track and that will stop it trying to blend it and if I place this head look action anyway you can see that his head now will turn towards uh, the camera in in uh, the case when I do add it and it works wonderfully in combination with baking which I'll show near the end um, mixing in these additive animations and then um, switching into completely uh, handcrafted animation which you can then switch back again to the walk cycle is really freeing uh, when you've got lots of animation where he's going to be walking for a bit doing an action, jumping, rolling, or firing an arrow, it could be anything. And in this case, our final action, which we don't need to add as an NLA strip, uh, if I just unhide in the scene, we've got um, some landscape here, which is also from the sequence video at the start. I'm just going to switch that to solid so that it doesn't um, blare out with shadeless green. We've got our three NLA strips that are the walk cycle, the offset, and a little bit of additive animation with the head look. Uh, now we can also add one more layer on top which is the actual object of the armature itself. I've just hit I to add a key on it and renamed this action to height adjust. Uh, in the case of this sequence it's just another level of freedom in which in this case I was able to use it and just move the armature object up and down just uh, along that one axis and match his feet to the floor while the character itself with its pose and everything is just going on moving. I'm simply using the left and right arrows to scrub along the timeline and pretty much as he takes each step down I'm just double checking if his foot is flat on the ground and if not I just slide it a little bit up and down and hit the I key to add a key. And all of this working together gets our character going from just a walk cycle that was repeating and snapping back to the start. Now offset um, adding in some extra animation over the top and we can make sure that he sticks to uh, the ground and doesn't float. So what do we do after all of this is completed? For any given shot you've got the walk cycle that you can use as a base for any number of shots in an animation. To keep things consistent I might just add this last armature animation to our NLA as a strip as well. Uh, we can just select all of the NLA strips, hit the spacebar and just find the bake action uh, just by typing in the search box. Now I'm going to make sure that only uh, selected is unchecked and by just shift clicking uh, to make sure that pose and object are also selected that means it will bake not only the bones in uh, pose mode but also the armature object itself that uh, we were using to keep him locked to the ground. So there we go. Um, it's completed, all the keys are baked uh, just to double check, you can hide the NLA strips and they can stay there for any more tweaking that you'd like to do. But just to really double check, uh, you can delete the strips and just do a bit of a, a scrub along to make sure all the animation is correct. And I'll just Control Z undo 
um, so that we have our strips there again, just as backup. But the upside to having our animation baked is now we have a lot more control. So if I wanted to add uh, anything in between, of course, I'm just going to do a quick test demo here to show the example. I can delete this chunk of keys uh, along the time and add in, you know, a, a nice um, interesting leg movement here. Now in the case of the freelance project that I just linked in the description, um, here you can see where I've used this technique. So we've got our happy donkey, he's free from being stuck um, to a tree with the rope. And as they head down, they're all hopping along and you can see the bunny here, ding, clicks his heels and that's after baking the offset walk cycle and using the armature object to allow them to um, swoop over the hill up and down. And the last step where we baked, I did the same thing, uh, deleted a chunk out just before he was about to start jumping up and tapping his heels and animated that by hand. And as soon as he landed again, it went straight back into the, uh, the walk cycle um, and I was just able to, you know, offset the position where that started again using the keys. So that's a rundown of offsetting a cycle and editing it a little bit just to make sure that it works nicely. And if there's anything you're curious about, let me know. Um, I might do a quick uh, short real-time video or just reply in the comments if I can. So thanks again guys and happy blending.